Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Last time we made our way through Route 6 to get here, to the city of Stoneside, the town of Stoneside, my mistake. Um, this time we're gonna have a look around. Hello. Just getting here was so satisfying, I can't imagine what seeing the ruins will feel like. We're using the mural to bring more business to our town. Actually, we've been doing that for a long time now. What do you have to say? Every time I see the ruins, I'm enamored of them. Why are they so appealing to me, I wonder? Uh, ooh. Look at these little, little carts and stuff. Hi, cutie. My uncle's Pokemon here is slacking off. The Pokemon that we hired for the Poke job is looking sharp, though. <laughs> what is happening here? Come on, let's play with Bronzong. He's gonna put a giant bell on your head. Alright. <laughs> hmm. Uh, some Diglets here having a little party. Yeah, this, 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 this kind of reminds me mostly of, um, Dry Dry Outpost from the first Paper Mario. That's how it feels. It, do it doesn't feel very British. I don't know. Hey there, you happen to catch a lot of Maractus? How about trading one for my Impidimp? Uh, sure. I don't know if I have a Maractus. No, I don't. Come back if you change your mind. You found a metal coat. I need to be held by a Pokémon. It's a special metallic film that can boost the move of power of steel type moves. Cool. TM-74 Vanoshock. Drenches the target in a special poisonous liquid. This move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned. Does it poison them to begin with? Like, being covered in poisonous liquid? Does it poison people? I would assume it does, but from the description it sounds like it doesn't. Diggy diggy dig. Cute. Da -dum, da -dum. I can turn the TV on. Is that a thing I could always do? Or is that like an update, updated thing? Gotta keep stirring the pot, make sure it doesn't burn, but also don't spill it. Temperature control is very important for cooking. You need to heat food thoroughly. Uh, is that everything that's in here? There's nothing I can do in this house? No items? Nothing? Alright. <laughs> Just sort of like, why bother to put it there? X special attacks. What are you talking about? I've already got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. Wanna buy some ruined souvenirs? They're quite valuable, you know? You can only get them here. Alright, can I? I guess not. Uh, there's Hop. I'm guessing he wants to challenge me. How did he even get here before me? Hey, how about doing an errand for me? You can bring what I need today, I'll give you a good reward. Say I'm buying a pearl for 3,000 poke. Uh, today's bargain? A metal coat? No thank you. Uh, oh, is it like a daily thing? Get a cracked pot. Okay, I see. So it's like a daily item thing. You can come back and have a look. Kind of like um, the Goldenrod Underground in the second gen. I really liked that. I thought that was super cool. Danielle. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help get my head on straight. Okay, I'm probably gonna beat you really easily, so... Good we'll challenge for Pokemon Trainer Hop. Sent out. Okay, you have four Pokemon now? That's a bit better. Cramorant. After all I'm after is victory, I'm counting on you to help me grab it. Uh snapshot, I guess. It's not very effective. Use pluck. What do I want to use against you? Uh, let's try a Sucker Punch. Oh, that was good. It wasn't even super effective, but it was very good. Uh, U-turn? Oh, Super Potion. 
You can't use potions, only I can do that. That's cheating. Uh, not very effective, critical hit. I'm guessing I want like electric moves. Ouch, even if I hurt, even I hurt when you manage to land a critical like that one. Uh, so if I want electric, I want you. So let's try that. Go for it, Charles. Uh, spark. Charles used Spark. Yeah, super effective. Who would name for a super effective hit if they had the chance, right? Cramorant fainted. Experience points. Bada bump. Silicobra. I don't know what type Silicobra is. I guess I'll switch back to Cynthia and see how we go. Is it like rock type? Maybe? Ooh, yep, it's rock type. <laughs> uh, Toxel. Uh, is that like. Oh, it's a little friend. Uh, Snipeshot? I don't know. I don't know what type that is. Critical hit. Wasn't super effective, but it did the trick. Okay. And the last one's gotta be the starter, right? Yeah, Raboot. I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try, there's nothing else to it. Isn't Raboot... Yeah, that's just a middle evolution, you've gotta work on that. Super effective. Level 30. Ooh, copycat. What's copycat? Use a move, mix the move used immediately before it. The move fails if no other move has been used yet. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, might drop baby doll eyes, it doesn't do anything. My strategy goes right to pop when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. You seem to be good at the game like I am. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough, I've got to try harder and harder and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off mate, I have to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw out the strength out of. Okay. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about sa saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. You got Alistair's lead card. Now on you go, child. Get it for the stolen side gym next, no? Gym challenge is about having fun. Do I fight Opal in this game? I, I thought she was in the other one. Like this is Shield, I think she's in Sword. But maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. Oh, this is very Animal Crossing. <laughs> you found a cracked pot. It may, it may be cracked, but teapot it from it is delicious. Oh, it's for the, um, like the teapot ghost Pokemon. You know the one. Time to bicycle upstairs. Yeah. I want to show the stone side ruins to my Diglett. Who knows, maybe it'll awaken some latent artistic talent, right? How is your Diglett digging through these, like, cobblestones or whatever? Like, this, this area is paved. You, you shouldn't be able to just dig out of the ground. 
Some Pokémon live in the mountains, some Pokémon live in the forests. So many different species. Yeah. Uh, where am I now? Glimwood Tangle. This looks a bit spooky. You can't drown us out, mate. We'll just turn the volume up. M-A-R-N-I-E. That spells victory to me. With the knick-knack paddywhack, give Growlithe a bone. <laughs> Money's gonna send you home. Okay, I can't go that way. Presumably I have to do the gym first and then they'll be out of the way. This game is very linear. I don't know why that is. You could do a lot of the gyms in like arbitrary order in Gen 2 and I thought that was pretty cool. Like the first half or so you had to do the towns in order but then it opened up a lot and you could do stuff after that in a bunch of different orders and it was pretty neat. Quite an impressive gym stadium. Places where you can dynamax your Pokémon are known as power spots. The gym stadia of the Galar region are built on these power spots. Hello. The ocean, huh? Not a mountain, huh? Oh, I really like this, this particular character model. She's really cute. Little freckles. This mural looks... like... A uh, kid with crayons did it. <laughs> it's stolen side's famous mural. It's said to be a very deep work of art. Well, I can see a sword and a shield and some flowers. And maybe the sun? That's pretty much it. Time to ride a bike down some stairs. Hey, what do you have to say? Oh, good for you. Can I not actually go to the dignit- the diglet? Like, monument or whatever. I want to go have a look at that. Did I go in here already? Nope. Thank you for choosing my flying taxi. Please take this TM as a token of my gratitude for your patronage. You obtain TM06 Fly. User flies up into the sky and then strikes its target on the next turn. The first airborne taxi in the Galar region was a Corviknight. We've been keeping the tradition ever since. Okay, so that's how you get Fly, the actual move, but it's kind of useless. It's an okay attacking move, uh, but it's, it's not great competitively because it's very easy to like react to it between turns and therefore like dodge it or protect against it or whatever. See, I want to go look at those Diglets closer up, but I don't think I can. It doesn't look like you can get any closer to them. Hmm, I can get behind the Pokemon Center here or something. A Dusk Stone, a peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It holds shadows as dark as can be. I think that would turn Eevee to Umbreon, probably. I don't know what else it does. I'm just guessing that it does that as well. I don't really know. Uh... Oh, let me see. Yeah, I guess I'll go to the Stadia. Stadium, not the Stadia. Uh, do I need a heal or am I fine? Use a bit of a heal. Intellion looks very weird. I, I don't know. It's, it's just a really strange, really strange character. <sighs> anyway. Here is the stadium. Oh god. Oh god, it's Space's Choice Guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by and have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. That bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokeball. You obtained a heavy ball. A Pokeball that is better than usual at catching very heavy Pokemon. Heavy Balls rock and roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If you're a fan of big heavy Pokemon, then this is the Pokeball for you. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. You've come all, you've come all the way to Stone Side, so be sure to win. 
I'm doing my gym challenge when I'm raising my Pokemon, but I may have to change my team members. Oh, I saw her on the telly. Are oh, you talking about me? D do you have blue hair because I have blue hair? Did, did, did you get the same hair color as me? Oh, <laughs> I really hope that's what they're doing because that'd be super adorable. <laughs> Many challengers have already given up their gym challenges, but you and your Pokémon have been hanging in there. Oh, she's a new gym challenger. I'm not new. I have like three badges already. I'm about to get a fourth one. Oh, look at the little kids. I really hope she has the same color of hair that I do automatically. That would be super adorable. Okay, uh... I need to save. We're probably fine. Just go ahead and do it. Eep, a gym challenger. Are you here to challenge the gym? I am. Okay, in that case, please change into your uniform. Yes, the changing room is uh, right over there. Number 42, do your best. I wonder what the challenge is this time. Okay, so is it like dark type or whatever? Uh, what am I looking at? What? Is this a giant pachinko machine? Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stolen Side's gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left to make the cup spin left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. You'll have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Bet on your spin, and good luck. Okay, so it's a giant pachinko machine with spinning teacups in it? This is so weird. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh my god. This is just silly. Okay. It doesn't seem to matter if you hit a wall, it doesn't do anything. Spin the teacups too much and gym challenges go flying. Gym trainer Clive. Let's see what type your Pokemon are. Pumpkaboo. Is that dark? I don't I don't know. I've seen a couple of them, but I don't know what type they are. Uh, Sucker Punch? Cool. Bullet Seed? Is it grass? Like, it's, it's a pumpkin. Level 36! Level 30! Phantom. Is this the ghost gym, maybe? Mm, I don't know. Snipeshot? I, I don't know. Not very effective. Still looks pretty good to me. Ooh! Yeah, I think there's a ghost types, maybe? Snapshot again to do the trick. Yeah, there we go. Another pumpkaboo? Alright. <sighs> Seems pretty repetitive. Let's U-turn and send out like a fire type or something. Confused Ray? No thank you. I don't want to be confused Raid. Right? 
Yeah, the, yeah, they're ghosts. See, rapids been no effect. I don't know if they're ghosts and plants or what exactly. Flame charge, good. That should be super effective. It is. You do enough damage though. I should use incinerate. Scary face. My something harshly fell. It's pressing the button too fast. I think the speed probably. I guess that's what Scary Face does. Okay, job done. I lost. My consciousness has been sent flying. Got some money. Money from that guy. Okay, time for another weird spinning teacup. Is there like a time limit to do this, or can you just keep trying until you do it? Okay, you're not meant to go this way. I'm meant to go this way. I just don't really get how this is a challenge. Huh, I thought I had more potions than that. That'll do. Jim Trainer Lin. You got some nice hair, Jim Trainer Lin. Corsola. Okay. Um. What type is Corsola? I'll try a snipe shot? I, I don't know. Yeah, that was good. Hex. Uh. Did some damage. Is it like a permanent hex or I don't know. Goodbye, Corsola. That's all you had? Losing may be remember. The gym leader wears a mask. Alright. Oh, it's probably Alistair, right? Alistair, they of the of the ambiguous gender. Hence the mask. Yeah, I don't really understand this. How this is supposed to be like a challenge or whatever. It's just weird controls. It's pretty much the whole deal. So you just automatically did it itself at the end there. Oh, I don't know. You got the last one, right? You understand what ghost type Pokemon are weak to? I don't think so. I think Psychic, but I don't have anyone with Psychic. Haunter. I think maybe they're weak to dark as well, but I'm not sure. Well, that worked. They weren't even weak to that, but it worked. Uh, yeah, learn retaliate. What does that do? Revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. That's pretty neat. Um... Maybe you replace agility with it? It's 
Driftblim. What is Driftblim? Uh, it's like a hot air balloon or something? I, I don't know. Is it supposed to be a ghost? Shadow Ball. That is a Shadow Ball. Level 33. If you understand type matchup, it's only natural that it'd be easier to win. I didn't use any moves that were super effective. I used one move over and over. <laughs> hmm. Okay, uh, let me just potion myself up a little bit. And do I have, um, I know, like, ethers? I have one ether. Let me just make sure this is the last bit before I use that, because it's wasting a bit. Yeah, this is the end of the challenge. Okay. Goal, gym mission cleared. Actually, I'm not sure using an ether for the gym battle. Is that necessary? Mm, maybe. Let me see. We've all got decent health. Interesting the game doesn't just give you ethers. I'm used to it doing that, but this one doesn't quite so much. Give me a bunch of burn heals for some reason. And netballs, I have a lot of those for some reason. Um, oh, feathers, I'm supposed to use those. Uh, a feather, that's a land, strawberry sweet. Huh, Duskstone can't be used by, by an Eevee. I thought that's what it was for, but I guess not. Whirlpool, Chaliate, Sand Tomb, Willow Whisper Charm, Dig, Vena Shock, Fly. Well, let's just go for it with what I've got and see how we go. Chances are my PP won't matter too much anyway because I'll be Dynamaxing, but we'll see how we go. It's Alistair! Hi Alistair. Malister. Here I go. Oh, They're a cutie. They're so shy and awkward. Same. You were challenged by Gym Leader Alistair. Gym Leader Alistair is not your mask. Go on, Cynthia, I know you can do it. Okay, we can Dynamax, we don't want to just yet. Um, Water Pulse. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Super effective. Level 37. Mimikyu, oh, I love Mimikyu. I don't know what type it is, but it's one of my favourites. Look at that cutie. Oh, they just want to be loved. Oh, I love you, Mimikyu. Ooh. It's disguised served as a decoy. Oh, interesting. I didn't know it had that ability. So it has like a protect on the first move you use against it? Interesting. Not a problem, like, I'm just gonna hit it now and... Yeah. <laughs> Use Slash. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Ba -dum -ba -dum. 
Bada bada. Cursola. Did I say one of those already, or is that something different? No, this is something different. What is that? What am I looking at? Uh, what, what, water pulse? I, I don't know what type you are. Are you rock at least a little bit, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, that's not good. Um, let's try biting you. I think dark is good, but I'm not really sure. Good. Yes, dark is good. Okay, we'll be fine then. Gengar! You gonna Dynamax that Gengar? My last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. Hey, Gengar! Let, let's do it. Let's Dynamax. Max Darkness. It's big puppy time! Big puppy! Gengar, Gigantamax, slow everything in darkness. Super effective. Poison Gengar's special defense fell. Oh, that's, that was my idea. I used Max Darkness first. Are we just using the same move back and forth at each other? Yeah. <laughs> Poison Gengar fainted. Experience points. Boop -boop -boop. We have Crunch. Yeah, let's learn Crunch. Crunch is very similar to Bite, but it does more damage, basically. See? Uh, let's drop Charm. I nearly lost my mask from the shock. That was... wow. I can see your skill for what it is. Crumbs. That was Ace. Here. A ghost badge. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 40. G good luck with, um, everything. Challenger Danielle, you defeated our gym leader, Alistair. Take this TM as a reward for your victory. TM 77 Hex. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. In a complimentary ghost type uniform. You got a ghost uniform. Does it have the mask? The ghost badge suits you. You're right on track, Danielle. Can I look at it? Or do I have to actually go somewhere? No, I can't look at it. I can't look at it here. Yeah, and on shopping. Uh, I want to have a look at what the uniform is, so I need to fly somewhere that actually has a clothing shop, because this town doesn't. Bow walk? 
Puppy? <gasps> Puppy! Looks like my Yampa really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stoneside? It's supposed to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom. What, what in the world was that? Sounds like it's something came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yampa. We're not going to come along right now. We're going to stop for today, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time we're going to go see the mural and see what's going on over there. But for now, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. You saved your progress. Bye all! Bye-bye! <laughs>